Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, everybody is hearing everybody here. So let's hand the baton over to Adam Hanlon. It's his freaking show. It's also mine, but still, it's more him because we're cruising with him. All right, Adam Hanlon, take it from here, man. We're live. All right, we're live, we're live, we're live. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Uh, just one step closer to the end of this year, 2020. Stop, stop. stop. Adam, you better give me some energy, man, or I'm going to take back the reins from you. I don't want to. Uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, I want you know, it. There's, there's that movie. Uh, well, I don't know who knows it. Good morning, 93.5. Here we go. That's it. Some energy up in this. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Redo. Rewind. Redo. Guess what, guys? 93.5 FM. Facebook. Lucky for you. You are now cruising with the K Sander. You know what? I think I'm going, I think I'm going to switch. It's official. I'm switching from cruising with the K Sander to cruising with the K Sandler. How's that sound? That's Good morning. A- My name is Adam Handler. I'm a partner of Paul Calk, Isaac DeSico. I head up the personal injury department. And yes, this is the show we do every day, 9.30 on the dot, 93.5 FM, streaming to other radio platforms, which we'll talk about in a second, actually. Uh, streaming to social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, are we still on MySpace? <laughs> What's that? Are we still on MySpace? Alan's still on MySpace. Uh, but it is all good. Uh, we are here. We are Paul Paul Isaac DeSico. We are a full service law firm here to answer your questions on the radio, on social media, and over the phone for free. That's right. You can get your questions answered for free regardless of what the legal topic is. You got a personal injury question, you call us up, free consultation. You got an immigration question, you call us up, free consultation. Criminal defense, family law, matrimonial, uh, real estate. You got a legal question, we got a legal answer. You got a legal problem, squeeze. You know what we got? What? Legal solution. Because we are Paul, Paul, Isaac DeSico, otherwise known as PP. ID. I'm down with PPID. Alan K, the general, is down with PPID. Squeeze. I know the answer, but you got to tell the thousands of people listening right now. Are you down with PPID? Hold up. Let me put my phone down. Come on, Adam. You know me. I'm down with PPID. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Handler on that side, of course. All right. And you're surely squeeze on this side, all right? One of my favorite white friends, you know. And yeah. I'm one of his favorite black friends, you know. But we're one family. Look at Ali laughing, <laughs> you know. You know, that's how you know we're a true family here, folks. We can talk about anything because race, creed, color, religion, ethnicity, sexual orientation doesn't matter. We're one people, one blood, all right? And that's what we are. We are a family. And that's the reason why 93.5 FM listeners are proud people. They love each other. And this Thanksgiving, that's what it's all about. It's all about giving thanks. It's all about love. It's all about helping out each other. And I give thanks. I've been giving many thanks. You heard me earlier. Alan was actually listening in. I'm giving thanks for PPID because I've seen what they have done. They have given since the start of the year 100% free phone consultations on immigration, personal injury, every, fa- every facet or vertical of the law firm PPID. I challenge anyone out there right now. I challenge anyone watching us on Facebook, Adam Handler's page. Make sure you follow his page, powerful page. Okay, just look up the case handler. PPID's page, make sure you follow that page. My page, David Squeeze Anarchy. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. But I challenge anyone on 93.5 FM, this is the big mouth guy squeeze. David Squeeze Anarchy since 1996, all right? The businessman, all right? Whatever you want to call me, all right? The guy who talks too much on the radio and don't play enough music. And I will continue talking more than playing music. But I challenge any and everyone out there to call PPID for a phone consultation and that they charge you. They will never charge you for the consultation. And how am I going to prove it? I'm about to give you a number. Maybe you got an immigration question. Maybe you got a question about personal injury, real estate, a whole lot more, family law. Call this number right now. I am challenging you to call this phone number, 844-774-3529. 
That is 844-774-3529. One thing I will say, and let me disclaim this. I am not saying that you will get a free phone consultation forever. I am not saying that. Okay, but what I'm saying, if you call right this second, right this minute, right now, you will, you will, let me repeat that, you will receive a free phone consultation to take advantage of it. We're giving thanks for them for allowing us all to get free phone consultations. Hold up, back up, with an attorney, with an attorney. So call them now, ask any question on immigration. So you don't have to worry to go down the corner on Gunnell Road, on the Eastern Parkway, down there in Flatbush and all of that. The guy who's standing in the corner giving you answers. No, we got the general, Alan E.K. We got the personal injury man, the case handler, Adam Handler. We've got the Conrad Pollock. We got the Nelson Madrid. We got the Andrea. We got the Alexandra Bondikoff. We got all these attorneys allowing you to ask them questions for free. What can I say? That's me giving thanks for them. So call PPID because I'm down with them. Call them now. 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. People, you're an immigrant. Take advantage of this. Ask a question. Go on Facebook. Place your question in the comment section. And store the number. You need a full service law firm? Make it PPID. Why do you think I have these educated, experienced attorneys on every single day? And they're the ones investing in the airtime, investing in me, investing in you. Use them. They are attorneys. How many programs are out there extending to you attorneys to answer your questions? Not many, if any. So you call PPID. And I need for you to be down with PPID. So here's the number. If you don't need it now, store it in your smart device. 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPIDLAW. Sorry about that, Adam and Alan. No, just we, we, we appreciate the love. We appreciate the endorsement. Of course, we always say we won't let you down. Alan, you know, I, I think it would be great if we can just let everybody out there know what we did yesterday, because that was such a special program. Yes. And it just shows you how far reaching um, our firm is, how far reaching Squeeze's reputation was. And uh, hey, I'll toot my own horn, how, how far reaching the case handler. I mean, they, they knew who we were. So Alan, tell us a little bit about what we did yesterday and, 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 and how we conducted it. It was really impressive. We spent two hours yesterday with personnel from the Jamaican consulate in New York. Uh, giving them a lecture about immigration, answering their questions. I think it was very well received. It's not, it's not going to be just a one-shot deal. We have to come back and answer more questions. But I think the people at the consulate really appreciated. Uh, Adam was on also introducing himself and what he does. Uh, they all know about PPID. They know about the firm. We explained everything to them. So it was a very special day, and it's just a start. We're going to come back and do it again with them. But the people at the Jamaican consulate, they have a lot of good information about immigration that we gave them. And we're available now to talk to them whenever they have any questions. And this was really like part one. We've got to come back and answer. We ran out of time. We were on for two hours. We, they had a lot of questions that we didn't finish. So we're going to continue doing our lectures with the Jamaica consulate. So it was a very, very successful day two hours yesterday with the company yeah. the consulate. It, 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 was, it was great to be a part of. And, you know, they're all aware of the show. They listen to the show. They know Squeeze. They know what you do up here in New York. They know what you do down there in Jamaica. So uh, I really felt, um, it felt great to be recognized and also to be able to provide quality information to people that are truly uh, going to process it in a way that's going to help, you know, potentially thousands and thousands of people. Um, and, and that's the power of, of our firm. That's the power of our platform, you know, helping people. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't stress enough. We are attorneys, we are professionals, but we're still in the service industry. We are here to help you. If you've got a problem, we've got a solution. All you have to do is pick up that phone call, eight, uh, pick up that phone and make that phone call, 844-PPID-LAW. 
Um, we have some wonderful, wonderful attorneys that are here to give it to you and give it to you straight. Uh, Alan Kay, we call him the general, of course. He is the most experienced immigration attorney practicing in New York City. I, I don't know any other lawyer that has more years of immigration work under his belt than Alan. And Alan, if you can just tell some of the people, uh, some of the people, all the people out there, some, some of the, the positions you've held within the uh, immigration legal community, I think you would further illustrate and, and, and provide color as to how well recognized you are as an attorney. Well, <clears throat> I'm a past president of the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Um, I'm a lifetime member of the Board of Governors of the Immigration Lawyers Association. I'm co-chair of the Immigration Committee of the New York State Bar Association. I'm co-chair of the Immigration Committee of the Queens County Bar Association. And I've been doing this kind of work, immigration work for 40 years. And I'm ranked as one of the best immigration lawyers in New York uh, in all kinds of uh, honors. So this is all I do is immigration and nothing else. And I'm happy to help out and answer questions and tell you all listening about what the latest developments are in immigration. And you know what's so amazing about Alan Squeeze is that somebody of his of his stature, of his experience, um, of 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 his accolades, you know, he could very easily be sitting behind a desk telling a bunch of people what to do. That's not Alan. He is a practicing attorney. I mean, of course, things are a little bit different now um, because of the pandemic. But you know, on March 10th or March 11th or March 12th, the days before we shut down, this man was plugging away in his overcoat with a huge legal bag, wheeling it behind him, you know, not asking for help opening doors, going through those, um, you know, uh, rotating doors through all the offices, really just pounding the pavement, a practicing attorney coming to the office, going to court, meeting with clients, uh, meeting with um, officials in the immigration world. Uh, something I always really respected because, you know, uh, lawyers, uh, I get to a certain point, they, they want to just, you know, be comfortable and have other people do the work for them. But that's not Alan. You know, he, he was doing the work himself, uh, probably doing the work of, of three or four people himself. And that's one thing that really does set us apart at Paul, Paul Isaac DeSico. Each attorney, right, from the top down to the bottom are practicing attorneys, we are the attorneys that will handle your case. You call our number, we are the ones handling your file. It's not like you come to us and, and all of a sudden we pass your case off to another individual to work on. You know, you want us, you get us. You want the case handler, you get the case handler. You want the general, you get the general. You want the maverick, you get the maverick. You want the maestro, you get the maestro. I can go down the list uh, back and forth. Every single individual in our firm is a practicing legal professional. And that's something that's very, very unique and sets us apart from all other larger uh, full service law firms uh, in this city, Squeeze. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Adam Handler. And of course you heard Alan also speak. It is true. They are practicing attorneys, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, like I said, we are blessed to have them help out this community. We are blessed to have a consistent law firm, okay, who persist in helping out people who need to be treated like family, who need to understand more. And that's one of the reasons why we get on this radio station every day. That's the reason why we're currently on Facebook right now, okay, every single day, okay, talking to you about immigration, personal injury, and of course the firm is a full service law firm, they have other areas. So that's the reason why we say to you out there, hey, pass the number on to someone who needs it. Maybe you don't need it, but maybe someone else do need it. And these are attorneys that will speak with you initially for free, a free phone consultation, understand more about what you're going through and what your needs are um, in the legal capacity. The number is 844 Seven seven four three five two nine. That's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Two things I am going to ask everyone for. All right. This is how you can give thanks to me. 
This is how you can give me that 20% tip. All right. Okay. I need to know that every one of you have the phone number stored for this law firm. All right. We never know when you're going to get into an accident. We're an immigrant community. There's always someone that we know that need immigration help. I've got the most experienced attorney on my panel here. All right. We joke around from time to time that he was around way back in the early thirties and all of that, but he really has depth and experience. Store this number, dial this number, let the phone ring. So this way we know you're storing the number. I want every single soul, whether regardless of where you are in the United States, because immigration is federal, this law firm can handle your immigration case. As a matter of fact, wherever you are in the world, as long as it has to do with U.S. immigration, call them at 844-774-3529. The number, once again, is 844-774-3529. Make me proud, all right? That's my tip. You call them. I know you're storing the number. I know you're in a much better position when you need an attorney, regardless of what it might be. 844-774-3529. This man that the show has been named after, and it's well-deserved, Adam Handler, cruising with a case handler, he has pioneered, ladies and gentlemen, personal injury on this radio station. Let me repeat myself, and no one can take that from him. Listen to me very, very careful. This is David Squeeze Anarchy. You all know my rep. You all know I'm a very straight shooter. You all know I'm the one that harassed you with the text and also the emails and all of that. Yeah, that one that's been on the radio for decades. I am saying this, regardless of what you have to say about me, which is all good. I am saying this. The man that has pioneered personal injury on this radio station, 93.5 FM, is Adam Handler, the case handler, the man that has worked with multiple broadcasters on this station, the man who have had the most consistent personal injury show on this station is Adam Handler. I can't take that away from him. You gave that to him by supporting him. And how did you all give that to him? $125 million later. Those are the people that he has helped, $125 million worth of people. How do I explain that? I'll let him explain that, as you call 844-774-3529. How do you explain that $125 million worth of people, Adam Handler, seeing that you are the man who has pioneered personal injury, okay, on this station consistently, built it on this station consistently? Yeah, you may hear other attorneys at the top of the hours and elsewhere on the station, but who has been the most consistent personal injury attorney? Who is the most celebrated personal injury attorney? Who is the attorney? God forbid you get whacked by a bus, a bicyclist, slip and fall, medical malpractice. You fall off the scaffolding and all of that. Who's the man that you need? The case handler. Adam? Well, it's been done with passion. I mean, uh, Alan can attest to this. Uh, when you really enjoy what you do and you really enjoy helping people, you know, the work comes very easy. And when you're blessed with a, a steady stream of individuals that look to you um, for their legal needs based on your reputation and based on referrals, um, it's literally a win-win-win. Um, I certainly get a, a high from meeting a client for the first time and then ultimately just doing a great job and, and, and letting them know that justice has been served. I'm sure Alan feels the same way that when he's able to win a, a, a difficult case uh, and, and really show the client that, hey, listen, you made the right decision by coming to me. Isn't that such a wonderful feeling, Alan? Yep, it, every day that happens and makes me feel good. Yeah, it really is. And uh, you know, we, we help people in different ways, of course. You know, if you're involved in an accident, my job is to get you the most money possible uh, for your injuries, for your time out of work and your medical bills. Alan's, Alan's job, Alan's results are based on, um, you know, getting you legal status here in the United States. You know, two very different ways of obtaining justice, but, you know, driven with the same passion, experience, and dedication, we're able to uh, uh, obtain those successful results for our clients. We can never guarantee a successful outcome in the future, but I believe we can both stand on a reputation for, for you know, really strong results 
and, and really happy people. And, it, you know, I say it uh, over and over. My family, I'm third generation. You know, my grandfather was an attorney licensed to practice in 1932 in Queens, New York. He practiced in Brooklyn and then Manhattan. But my family has been practicing personal injury law in the city of New York, ladies and gentlemen, for almost 100 years. And that's not by mistake or coincidence. You got to be really good. <laughs> Your bloodline has to be real strong with respect to this kind of work to survive nearly a century. So I'm happy to do it. I love to do it. It's all I want to do is personal injury work. And, and the community that's embraced me is the immigrant community. Uh, broken down even further, it's the Caribbean community. Um, and it's certainly the community that I've embraced back. And that's why, you know, I became a partner of Paul, Paul Isaac DeSico six years ago after being, uh, uh, after departing from my prior law firm, because I wanted to make sure that my clients had a place to go uh, if they had immigration needs, if their family and friends had immigration needs. And these are great immigration lawyers. So between the work we do in personal injury, the work we do in immigration, the work we do in criminal defense, real estate, matrimonial, we, I, I, I really hope that you're getting the message, ladies and gentlemen, that there's only one law firm you need, and that's Paul, Paul Isaac DeSico. There's a couple of immigration questions that popped in through Facebook. I'd like to get to those real quick, and then we'll do a true F success story before the top of the hour. Absolutely. And once again, if you have questions right now and um, you're listening to 93.5 FM, log on to Facebook, the Case Handler page, David Squeeze and PPID's page, and place your questions there now. Or you may call 844 844- Seven seven four three five two nine. Let's get to the question on Facebook here. And by the way, folks, log on to my page, log on to Adam's page, and put your um, immigration questions there. We have, of course, you know, Alan E. K., the top immigration attorney here right now um, in this hemisphere, ready, willing, and able to answer your question. So here's the a question from uh, Sheldon. A couple of days ago, I received my GC, but the problem is now I have two 10-year GC. The first GC came 11 months after my interview. So during that period, I filed an I-90 because I thought I would never receive the first one. Is it okay to have both cards or should I? Uh, well, I'm assuming that said one they, of, one they, of the sent you, they sent you two green cards. Right. I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, they're going to have both have the same file number. You should look at that. But... I'm assuming the file number is, is the same. So you don't have to give one back. It's good to have two. Uh, just make sure that the file number on both cards is the same. Okay. As long as the file number is, is the same, then they're all good. But if it's not the same, then red flag, or maybe they should, they should handle that, right? If they're not the same, we have to notify the immigration service. And look at the card, because the card will say you have a permanent resident since what date? And then if you're... Uh, you're eligible for American citizenship five years after you became a permanent resident, and you can file three months before five years for American citizenship. If you're married to an American, you're eligible for American citizenship three years from the time you became a permanent resident. And again, you can file three months beforehand. Okay. All right. Someone here um, needs some help. Um, you know, um, they had an interview with um, USCIS. Um, recently, last month, and their case is on F1. And the officer noted that they passed and handed them a letter stating that it, they passed. But the problem is that it's already a month and they still have not gotten their green card um, approval notice. So, you know, they want to know, my receipt is not updating either. How long does it take to get this? Is that a sign that something is going? Not not yet. Uh, one month is not, not too bad. Um, I would wait a few more months and then after that, make inquiries. We can make the inquiries for you. You can go to your congressman who will make the inquiries for you. But one month is, they don't work that fast. They've got a lot of work to do. I wouldn't worry. Maybe after a couple of months, get in touch with us and we can try to find out what happened. If somebody's um, I-75 is pending, can they um, file for their citizenship? I-765 or I-75? I said I-75. No, there's no I-75. I think if he's referring to I-751, I-751 is a, 
if you're a conditional resident where you have a green card that's good for two years, can't file for citizenship until that two year green card becomes a permanent green card. There are some situations where you can do both at the same time. Uh, you can file to change the two year card to a permanent card and file for citizenship. It might be a better idea to get the 751 finished to get the two year condition removed and become a permanent permanent resident and then file for citizenship. All right, Adam. Let's flip it over to you, man. All right. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm text I'm you know I'm texting uh, Conrad right now. You know, go figure. Today's his birthday. I mean, I was gonna embarrass the hell out of him this morning um, on this show, and and he's really dodging a bullet. I'm very disappointed. I won't be able to uh, you know fire my my bullets at him today, but uh, I'll, I'll save it. We would have gotten a cake if we knew that. That's right. That's right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We have a few minutes before the top of the hour. Um, and I just wanted to just, uh, you know, say what we're thankful for. It's an opportunity to really say, um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for what you allow us to do. Because without your support, without you calling our firm and asking us to be your attorneys. Hold up. Hold up. We, we got something in for you. Well, he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? That was Conrad, man. He hung up on me. I, I decided to call him, you know, and he hung up. And he, uh, let me call him back right here. Come on. So, 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 man. We got to get him. Hello. Hello. Sounds like, this sounds like a, one of those prank calls. Yeah. Yeah, he's dodging, man. He's dodging. He's, he's dodging those phone calls. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's time to be thankful and we are thankful, uh, that you allow us to do the work, uh, that, that we do. And, and, and I'll just share my screen just to show you, you know, hold on, hold on, Adam. here he is. Conrad, how are you? I'm good. Okay. How are you? I am wonderful. Thank you. This is David squeeze Anarchy. You're live on the show. So, um, unfortunately you're not live on Facebook. Um, Adam wanted to show. I don't show his love for you, you know, and we just all wanted to say <laughs> happy birthday to you, you know. Uh -huh. Okay. So I guess I have to. I guess I need to watch my language. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you know. So we all just wanted to say happy birthday to you, man. Adam, you want to say anything to Conrad? Hey, listen, happy birthday, my show, the architect of our firm. There's thousands and thousands of people listening right now that feel the same way we do. You're the man, you're the fearless leader. And, uh, you know, I was just saying that we're so thankful uh, for all those people out there. You know, this is the time of the year to really show thanks. And we're so thankful that they've supported our firm. And we're obviously thankful for you. And I know you're thankful for, for all that, that we're able to do for these people. It's just amazing. So have a great day, buddy. Everybody just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Double screen, Adam. Oh, you're done. Okay, perfect. So then, now I can, so I got this, let's see. Oh my God, who, what is that? Let's see, I got, I got this for you. Please take that screen. What are you trying to do, destroy what it, okay? I got this for you. Hold on, let me, uh. By the way, 903.5 FM list here right, on Facebook right now. David Squeeze Anakin's page, the Case Adler page. You are, this is, uh, this is for you, this is for you. Happy birthday, and believe me, no one could wish you a better happy birthday than me. <laughs> Right. <laughs> hey, who knew? Nobody knew. Nobody knew how, how much I could wish you a happy birthday, right? What you really wanted for your birthday. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, well, anyway, happy birthday to you, Conrad, and blessing having you here, you know. Uh, hey, you know, um, it's certainly been an interesting year, you know. Uh, I never thought turning 40 would be uh, such an interesting experience. <laughs> you know? Uh, practice. Um, happy birthday, happy Thanksgiving. Alan, thank you very much coming from you. It means a lot considering I'm still a good 30, 40 years behind you. That's good to know. <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's nice to know the, the future is bright. I've still got a good 30, 40 years ahead of me. Yep. Yes, indeed. And who knows, you know, at that when I'm by the time I'm Alan's age, you know, there'll be some kind of new platform 30 years from now and, you know, it, it'll who knows what the world uh, never has know, right? down the road, right? Never, never know. But thanks for the impromptu logging on, you know. 
you know. Um, we, yeah, we, it's uh, actually, you know, I, I, I'm not, I took today off and, uh, and I'm upstate and uh, um, I slept late and uh, my son made me breakfast and uh, I'm just gazing out the window. It's a beautiful day and um, you know, hopefully uh, better days ahead, right? All sunny, sunny skies ahead, right? That's the forecast. And new president. All right, let's get about that number before top of the hour. And um, there's oh, a few more questions. Yeah. Paul Conrad, wish him happy birthday. But well, once again, steward a number for the law firm. 844-774-3529 is the managing partner of the firm. 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPID-LAW. We'll continue on Facebook. 844-774-3529. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. 93.5. But there we go. Squeeze it in. But we have Facebook. For the people that are just logging on right now, you know, uh, Conrad, we were talking about how amazing the program was yesterday that we did with the Jamaican consulate. Yeah. Just uh, what, what a great connection that we have with them and, and certainly the respect uh, that they showed to our firm, knowing what we do and, and them wanting to engage with us was really, really heartfelt. I really enjoyed that. And oh. We're going to follow up with that. Yeah, I, I thought it was a real good, uh, a real good outing, and I think it demonstrated to them uh, that uh, we've got some professionals at our firm that know their stuff. Um, everybody's got their own style. I, I noticed the comments uh, at the end uh, that they recognized, and um, that was good, you know. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing more things like that. Alan, well done. I mean, Squeeze making the connection, of course. You know, thanks. And Alan, nice job putting it together. And uh, I thought it came off very well. I, you know, I and luckily, you know, we waited until the end to bring Adam on because, you know, <laughs> squeeze out all the airtime there, you know. But uh, no, it, went, it went very well. And I'm looking forward to doing it again. So, and um, one, one comment I want to repeat in, in, in terms of what, I said yesterday, you know, Thanksgiving is uh, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> um, and I know at my house, at my table, we're going to be giving thanks for many things, you know, for our health and that nobody in my family ha and no, actually very few people that I know have even uh, uh, had any issues with the virus. Um, I mean, I know a few people that we lost, but um, uh, uh, still, it's, it's worth giving thanks that we're all healthy. And um, also... Thanks for uh, speaking politically, bringing it to the, you know, to the subject of what we're talking about right now. Uh, good times ahead from an immigration perspective. There are a lot of really reasons to be positive. A lot of good things are going to be happening over the next uh, year. In fact, next couple of months. And uh, that's that alone is, is reason to give thanks for what, what's ahead. So good stuff. You know, it's been a dark period in many ways for the last several years, last four, three, four years. But, you know, things, good times ahead. Yeah, I, I was about to say, um, I had the pleasure of speaking with one of the consular um, officers and also the CG herself. Um, and she was very grateful um, in having um, you guys uh, do that um, program with the consulate. She's very appreciative of it and eager to actually do it again with every with you guys. She's, I mean, seriously, seriously, seriously happy that it went down, and she would like to be in on the next one. Guys, do it. So thank you. Well, actually, it was nice to know that they actually they knew about the show. You know, when I was you guys weren't on yet. I, when I I came on, we were, we were talking early, and I was I was saying, you know, we do this radio show, and they were all like nodding. Yeah, we know, we know. <laughs> Squeeze, Case Handler, yeah, we know, which is good to know. Yeah, you, believe me, it's out there in the community. A lot of people, you know, um, know who we are, what we're all about. And I'm, I'm very happy the show went well. Thank you so much, Alan. All right, you, you're a great leader, Ed. With that said, sorry I interrupted you earlier, um, Adam. You were about to do your true success story, and I... Re re real quick, real quick. Um, and, uh, you know, again, it's, it's all about being thankful and... Uh, you know, we can't do it without these smiling faces, but, you know, it, it's a body of work. Hold on, they're uh, blowing some leaves outside my window right now, so uh, I don't know if you can hear me that well, but, you know, it's a body of work that we're certainly proud of, um, and everybody watching right now on Facebook and Instagram, you know, they can really see these are true life success stories. These are real people. 
that came to us after having real accidents with real injuries and we provided life-changing money for these life-changing injuries and the numbers don't lie uh, and these people are are, do, are, are, are promoting our firm um, out of gratitude and thanks you know don't take our word for it take the word for it for the people that have come unfortunately before you and got into that unexpected accident and, and this is what we do and this is how we do it and just looking at these photos throughout this year and last year you know makes me just proud that we were able to do some truly wonderful things for even more wonderful people so very thankful you know 100 over 125 million dollars for my clients just a shade under 20 million dollars this year alone in 2020 so happy to do it proud to do it blessed to do it thank you so much Thank you so much, Adam Handler. And I want to say thanks also, of, to, of course, again, to you, Alan E.K. Thank you, Conrad, for coming on. Happy birthday. A couple of people are online is wishing you happy birthday. Diane, um, Jennifer Bailey is wishing you happy birthday also on Facebook. So we want to say you're a superstar, man. All right. Uh, you're, you're muted, Conrad. You're muted. Unmute yourself, Conrad. All right. You know, when you get older, you know, you don't know technology so well. Um, yeah, you know, I, I was working on, some, well, I just figured, you know, you'd be going on for a while. So I started working on some something that I've been working on. You know? Your next birthday. <laughs> um, but um, when you get to be my, Alan, you'll bear me out here. When you get to be my age, man, you, you stop counting these things, right? Yep, you're right. Yeah, I was just telling my son that we don't, uh, it's not something I necessarily look forward to anymore. It just reminds me, you know, another year, you know, dead and gone, you know? So on that happy note, <laughs> Austin, oh, he left. My son was going to make a cameo to, t to say hello. But uh, um, anyway, uh, I'll leave you guys to the show. I, uh, I have people waiting for me. No, we're, I think we said it all. In fact, maybe we said too much. Said it all. Thank you so much again, attorneys. Thank you, Paul. Um, happy birthday again, Conrad, on behalf of myself and everybody on Facebook, 93.5 FM listeners and my staff. And thank you, Alan. Thank you, Adam. And we'll talk again soon. All right. Later. Have yourself an amazing Thanksgiving, folks. And um, remember to give thanks. Thank you. <laughs>